Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. The next feature of this application is calculate and set duration as per half day. Now you have set the value of duration when you select start date and end date. What about half day field? Because you have to mention 0.5 as well. Because that's what you have to calculate. That's how you deduct and you calculate the leaves. So it's very important that you also basically do the calculation for half day selection as well. How will you do that? Let's go to our instance. So in order to basically fulfill this requirement, so the basically what we have to do, if I will check this checkbox and I have selected this start date, it should just populate 0.5 over here. That's it. This is the requirement. Because that's a half day we have to mention. And that's how we will calculate the leaves, the accrued, taken, balance. That's how we will uh, calculate the whole leaves uh, we have uh, for any particular employee. But how exactly I will populate this 0.5? Do I need to use Glide Ajax again? Do I need to use uh, script include? So the answer is no because we don't have to do any kind of date calculation a over here we don't have to calculate any kind of field subtraction uh, subtraction we don't have to do that so in that case what i can do i just need to create a small client script that's it you will be able to achieve this so i will go over here and i will close this together and i will create another client script i will double click this and i will select let's say this one uh, set duration for half day and here i can select the field as leave request and ui type i can uh, put all now why i am putting this ui type as all because i really want to i really want to uh, make it working for uh, portal as well so in that case i will select like this and then i will make it on change now with what f change of uh, with which like which field we have to change and that field will be half day so whenever i will select the half day this client script should run so i will just mention over here so i will go to my client script now and i will just start creating the script so I don't have to write in loading, I have to write over here. What exactly I have to check? Basically, you also ha also need to check if half day, because half day can also become false. Then you don't have to basically, uh, sell, uh, basically uh, calculate the duration. So in that case, what I can do, I can uh, capture the value of half day. So maybe I will do H A L F D. So it just, I will store uh, the value in this half D and I will do G underscore form dot get value. So that's what we will get the value of half day field and that is half underscore day semicolon and I will do if and I will do half D equal to equal to true. If it is true and if we are changing the field then only it should calculate the duration so in that case i will mention over here g underscore form dot set value but that's what we have to set the value and that setting the value is for duration field and here i can just do like this point five point five that's it you are done so we will set this point five value if half d that means the value of this half day is true now you will also think that it's very important that start date should also be filled so should i mention that condition over here idly should not the reason behind it because uh, you 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 will already uh, basically you you i think start date will always be mandatory so people definitely have to uh, fill the start date. So in that case, I will click on save because we are done with the creation of this client script. And if I go to my form, I reload it. 
So I have this casual leave over here. I select uh, this date. It just says start date I'm selecting. And now I am just selecting half day. If I select it, you can see I got 0.5 automatically. So that means it is telling me that, hey, you have selected the half day. That's the reason the duration is just 0.5. It's not the complete one duration. If I just select the one day, so for example, if I select five, let's see what comes over here. Uh, if I reload it and I select like this, maybe I'll select five. If yes, I select five over here, great, you can see because it's zero. So I am, I am getting this one day over here. That's good. And that's the reason, if you remember, we were adding those plus one. That's the reason I'm minus one. That's the reason I'm getting. Otherwise, I think, uh, I think it's, it's calculating correctly. But if I select, for example, six. Okay, yes, we are getting two. So yeah, it's, it's calculating perfectly. And if I select half day, it will calculate 0.5. That's it and I can submit the request. So this is how you create another type, type of client script for different kind of requirement. I think it's it was kind of a very small script uh, where we had just had to uh, basically achieve the requirement on the client and we didn't have to use any kind of server side code as well. So we didn't have to use uh, Glide Ajax or maybe uh, script include as well.